After updating to iOS 18, I discovered a completely new control center on my iPhone. I am delighted to make it as customizable as possible. I think you feel the same way I do. Fully customized video you can pick from the above given card. This short tutorial will help you to learn how to add new controls on the control panel in iOS 18. Simply unlock your iPhone and pull down from the top right side corner. So this all new control center will appear. If we compare it to the iOS 17 control center, then you can see the difference between both. In the old control center, we couldn't add pages, but iOS 18 allows us to add a specific page and we can access it by simply scrolling up and down the screen. For this, you don't need to go into the setting app and then the control center, in short, the old fashioned, completely changed. Moreover, if you go into settings, there is no option to add a control option as we have in iOS 17 and earlier. So now, are you ready? Let's long press on the empty space on the control center to adding more controls and shortcuts of apps. Now tapping on add a control. You can get the list of controls. We can find control via search bar as well as manually scroll the screen. I need the screen recording and this is here so tapping on it. Cool. One more thing is that here, I can resize each control. I mean I can do large and small controls. Let's try for screen recording. I am trying to pull the thick corner on the bottom side, but it is not possible. Now, move it to the right side, and finally, the screen recording control will appear with the name. In short, we can set controls in one, two, or even four spot size space. We can't add in three spot size. Next, tapping on the blank space to exit edit mode. So this is the trick to add control in control panel in iOS 18. Suppose you need to remove the control, then simply open control center from the top right corner. Next long press on empty space and hit on the minus button above of the specific control. On this screen, there is no done button to save. So simply tap on the empty space to exit the edit mode. That's it. So friends, this is all about to add new control in control panel in iOS 18. Thanks for watching.